So I've been working on my 1963 Aloha camper lately. Um, today I caulked all around the outside, some silver caulking, and um, I wanted to cover up some stained areas inside the paneling with some shellac. There's a little bit of mold issues. I just wanted to cover them up a little bit in case they're emitting some kind of toxic fumes. It's right around where I'm sleeping. Um, so I went and bought a can of shellac um, this is Rattle Can um, Quart. It was like 33 bucks, and I just decided to get this $14 can. Didn't want to spray it inside the small area, so I decided to look on YouTube to see if there's, there's a way to extract this. They call it decantering. Saw a few videos. One guy in comments suggested, hey, a great way to do this is to just bring this upside down and take the bottom off using a side can opener. And he said this is a great way to regulate the pressure coming out. Other guys are like using, you know, awls and punching holes and making messes. So this is what I'm trying out today. There it is. I hear it now. So I'm just going to let that sit for a while. Let all of the pressure escape. And we'll come back to this in just a minute. Okay, it's been a few minutes. It's still leaking a little bit. I'm going to get a little more pressure. it anymore. Oh, it's squirting, so there is still some pressure there. It's feeling pretty cold. There we go. It's still leaking out. Can you hear that? <laughs> now this is flammable, the fumes in here, so you don't want to be smoking a cigarette while you're doing this for a joint or whatever you're into. Would not be cool to see your face go up in smoke. It's getting real close. I can still hear it a little bit. This is very cold. Interesting. It's just a bubbling. I don't know why, but we'll let it settle down for a little bit before pouring it in the jar. That's how you decanter a shellac can. You could probably do this with a paint can too. Um, just be very careful when you're using this um, side uh, opener, can opener. Um, turn it very slowly when you start hearing the pressure. Back off, let it set a while, just let it leak out. Give it some time before you go and crank on it. Or you might get sprayed pretty good, and that's not good. You would not want that. It's still cold, actually. This is about... 45 minutes after um, taking it out of the can. So I'm going to let this sit overnight and then I'll go over and do some touch-ups where all that little mold buildup is. Hopefully that'll solve the problem. Anyway, thanks for watching. This is a good technique for even, like I said, taking paint out of an old spray can that's malfunctioned. Anyway, there you go. Have a good day. Bye-bye.